would be easier to talk to you this way. The bat's 490 code. I solved it. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for, for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. Okay then, let's begin. The experiment worked! Oh, happy, happy Shikara! That's the Nanyapal X, the symbol of nines. Nanyapal means consisting of nine. You know how they single, double, triple? Nanyapal is the ninth. So Nanyapal X means nine X's? Seems so. Did you know that nines at laws is derived from nine X at lozenge? Lozenge referring to a diamond shape. In other words, Nizet Laws means the nine X's of the diamond. Why would they make something like this indoors? Who knows? Something funny. There, I said it. Your badge. That's something phony. What is this? A vaudeville routine? That wasn't funny at all. Yeah, but I'm also her bodyguard. I used to be a bodyguard for a certain politician until the end of last year. He was a piece of human garbage. I slugged him in the face and resigned, then ended up here thanks to an acquaintance introducing me. I was only hired recently. I don't know much about it, really. It was a heat of the moment thing, but I ended up quitting my job. I don't regret punching that scumbag, but... Hmm, what am I going to do now? I've got ten children to think about. What? A job? With the conditions I requested? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do anything, as long as it's not illegal. I had a very hard time finding the place. After all, Nyes is a secret organization hidden from the public. That's a good thing Boss just happened to know someone who knew this location. Otherwise, we would have been out of luck. Even after I got inside the building, it wasn't easy. The guards, the security gates... If I hadn't met Mamoru at the entrance, I probably wouldn't even have made it to this office. I know about Abyss, and I know it's trustworthy. That's why I let you through to talk to the President.
Anyway, I was surprised. I had heard of Nice, the secret organization, but I thought it was just an urban legend. I can't believe it actually exists. Yes, there has been all sorts of gossip about us. Some claim we're a secret society of Satanists, or that we have something to do with a sequence of binary code that came from space. But that's all nonsense. Made up stories that become more and more embellished as they were passed on. Rumors are quite a terrifying thing. Nyes is a perfectly legitimate ideological society. Our headquarters are located in New York, with many branches in cities throughout the world. This is one such branch. This is a common misconception, but Nyes is not a religious organization. We are a group of like-minded individuals who act together based on a certain understanding of the universe. And that is? The simulation theory. Have you heard of it? That the world is an artificial simulation of reality created by someone or something. That's the theory. You're saying everything in this world we're living in isn't real? Yes. It's a false world constructed with specific rules by a program. And if it is made by a program, there must by necessity be imperfections, edges, or seams. To find these seams, or to create them, is our objective. Why would you do that? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel, and a hole will be created. Thusly, we will tear at the seams of the program until it is unraveled and its people are emancipated. That is our ultimate goal. This old hag has completely lost it. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the seam can occur. I don't understand. You will someday. It is a prophecy. It will be fulfilled eventually. What is that? It's a hand sign we use. It's meant to resemble the sign behind me. Judging by the way you asked that, I assume that's Jin's estimated time of death? Well, yes. I was in Okinawa from the night of the 8th. I had a seminar to attend on the 9th and 10th. I returned to Tokyo late last night. I checked the logs for hotels and airports, for smartphone access points, and the security footage for each location. It's true that Tokiko was in Okinawa from the 8th to the 10th. So she has an alibi. As long as you presume Jin's body wasn't brought back with her from Okinawa. Considering the fact that you are here, I assume it would be pointless to hide it. Indeed, I had my subordinates create that video. BATS 490 was an ARG, just a game. But there was a high-level encryption hiding a message within. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. So this QR video was made for the same reason? I am aware of that video. I saw it on the news. However, it's completely unrelated to Nyes. I assume someone made it with the intent to imitate Bats 490. What do you think, Tama? Um, hard to say on that alone. Do you mean the man from Horadori Institute of Genetics? So you do know him. I'm actually here because of a tip I got from him. I'm actually here because of a tip I got from him. Shikara is under arrest? No, he was just released earlier. We didn't have enough evidence to keep him detained. I see. 
Chikara is a former member of Nye's, though this was over 20 years ago. When he left us, he became an avid believer in the Order of Percent. Order of Percent? It's an organization that split off from Nye's. You could say they are a sect. The Order of Percent is a religious sect, whereas we are an ideological society. Despite our common roots, we are heading in completely different directions. Then how did Chikara know that Nyes created Bats 490? I wouldn't know about that. Perhaps he asked an acquaintance from Nyes. By the way, would you mind if I asked you a question? What is it? Are you, perhaps, a Freyer? Freyer? I am asking the person within you. What? I will ask you one more time. Are you a Freyer? As I thought. Then you've realized this world is fictional. Am I correct? Ryuki, what's gotten into you? Then please tell me the nil number. If you truly are a Freya, you should know it. No, you don't know. In other words, you lied. No good. She saw right through it. I thought that I could get her to keep talking if I fake my way through it. Way to go. What is a nil number? What is a frayer? Fray. Fray. Right. I remember now. It was written on that sign. Fray to free. Fray can mean fight, but it can also mean to wear out or tear. Remember what Tokiko said. Their ultimate goal is to break down this world and emancipate its people. Miss Shigure, are you sure Nyes didn't make the QR video? We did not. But the word Frey was written on that sign in the QR code. We of Nyes are only involved in Bats 490, which we created half a year ago. We are not the ones who created the QR video. The word Frey being displayed on that sign must be a coincidence. That can't be just a coincidence! Oh, but it can. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. A false world created by a program. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. We call such glitches scenes. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Proof of the scenes. The appearance of Jin's corpse is also likely to be an example of such phenomenon. What? Are you familiar with the Philadelphia experiment? It's a top secret military experiment that's said to have taken place in the American city of Philadelphia on October 28, 1943. A powerful electromagnetic wave was fired towards the USS Eldridge, a destroyer-class warship. Supposedly, the reason for doing this was to conceal the ship from showing up on radar. But as soon as the experiment began, something strange happened. The Eldridge was enshrouded in a greenish mist, then vanished. Afterward, it appeared at a military port in Norfolk, nearly 200 miles away from the shipyard in Philadelphia. Sometime later, it reappeared in its original position again. So you're saying it teleported? Well, it's nothing but an urban legend. Just an occult story with low credibility. Yes, exactly. However, the story doesn't end there. When the USS Eldridge returned to Philadelphia, 
There were several sailors on board, but... Some of them had melted like a rotten banana, while others ended up with their bodies entirely burned and blackened. Others were said to have merged with the steel hull, their bodies having become a piece of the ship. Does that sound familiar? You mean Jin? Are you saying his right half teleported here? It isn't impossible. If a seam was torn, that is. Impossible. You like this park, don't you, Ryuki? I feel calm when I'm around nature. It's like I can feel the buzz inside me quieting down. Tama, what do you think about what Tokiko said earlier? Is something like teleportation really possible? Uh, hey, come on. I told you the Philadelphia experiment is just an urban legend. How else can you explain what happened with Jin? We can't deny that his right half suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Jeez. Then why don't we find out for ourselves? What do you mean? You want to go to the studio right now? No need. Just close your eyes. My eyes? Just do it! Uh, okay. What the? Did we teleport here? Are you serious? We're in Studio Devita, aren't we? It just seems that way. We're not actually there. Last night, I scanned every nook and cranny of the scene. What you're looking at now is what I replicated using that data. Wow. It's like I'm actually there. The corpse looks so real. Want me to put a mosaic over it? Uncensored is fine. Now, less digressing and more investigating. Your objective is to solve the mystery behind the sudden appearance of Jin's right half. All right, let's start looking around. I can switch to x-ray mode, too. That's because I've gathered all data from the scene. Looks like it's there so the performers can check how they look on screen. Maybe it's for having tea during breaks. These aren't good for much other than for show. The questions for the quiz also show up here too. Huh. 
I wonder how deep this sign is embedded. What do we do at times like these? Right, the x-ray. Like I mentioned yesterday, Jin's estimated time of death is 6 o'clock on February 9th. Based on the time his corpse appeared, it should be about 40 hours ago. Hmm. Rigor mortis seems to be fading already. It's not completely gone yet, but the body has somewhat softened at this point. It should take more time to get to the stage if it's been on a rooftop in the winter. That's why I think this corpse was kept indoors. Someplace warm. bottom part of the signboard is stuck pretty deep in there. Hmm, there's a bit of a curve at the tip. Kind of like a man's, you know what? Couldn't you have compared it to a fish hook or something? Well, it won't come out easily. Whoever stuck it in probably didn't want it pulled out. Of course not. A signboard would be useless unless it's standing. It's useless unless it's standing? Uh, let's not go there. No, that's not what I meant. What's this? There's something inside the body. Hmm, three things catch my attention. First, a mixture of potassium chlorate, sulfur, and red phosphorus. This is probably a fire starter. It would ignite very easily. The fuse is coiled up and extends from there. By the way, the fuse includes an oxidizing agent, so it can continue to burn even inside the body. And finally... At the end of the fuse is a powder mixture of iron oxide and aluminum. This is a substance that causes a thermite reaction. When ignited, it creates heat of over 3,000 degrees Celsius and burns violently. Signboard. Yeah. Hmm, getting a better look at it. It looks like something tied to his waist. It's like a spider's thread. No, even thinner. My analysis concludes that this is a CNT, or carbon nanotube. Graphene sheets with the thickness of a single carbon atom. These were rolled into a cylindrical shape to make these nanotubes. The diameter is about 0.4 nanometers. A single nanometer is one billionth of one meter, so it's not visible to the naked eye. What? But I can see it. That's because this thread is made by bundling multiple CNTs. I've also enhanced your vision so you'd be able to see it. By the way, CNTs are extremely durable. They're elastic and hard to break, and it's said that their theoretical maximum tensile strength is 50 times that of steel. 
Anyway, where is the other end of the CNT connected? That way. Over by that red lamp. What's this? It's the light switch. The CNT is tied to it. Looks like we're pretty much done investigating here. Using the clues we've gathered so far, we should be able to solve the mystery. You mean the mystery of how Jin's body appeared? That's what you're talking about, right? Yep. on that now. First thing, about that power outage when the body appeared. Was it really just a power outage? I was wondering about that too. The lights came back on way too quickly. Plus, if the power did go out, the stream should have cut out at the same time. But the stream went on, no problem. So it wasn't an outage. The lights were switched off. So how did the lights get turned off? Well... I think I know what did it. That's the switch that powers the lighting. Yeah, let's not overthink this. Someone simply walked up and flipped this switch. But no one was near the switch when the lights went out. Let's try to think of something else. There were bundled CMTs tied to the body. They were routed through the ceiling beams and onto the light switch. But a dead body can't pull strings. No, but it can fall. From the ceiling, I mean. Now that you mention it, I thought I heard something hit the floor right after the lights went out. The body fell from the ceiling and tugged on the CNT, which caused the light switch to turn off. So on to the next question. The corpse was hidden up in the ceiling, right? Then how did it fall? The culprit must have been hiding up in the ceiling. And when the time was right, they dropped the corpse. A simple answer, but no. I've already confirmed that no one was up there. Hmm. Can you think of some other way? The CNT extended from the corpse to the light switch, so... The corpse would fall if you tugged on the CNT. But that would mean someone was near the light switch. There wasn't anyone around it at the time. Let's try again. The culprit used the mechanism of the body softening after rigor mortis. The body must have been placed up in the ceiling like a bridge between two beams. It would stay up there while the body is still stiff. 
But as time passes and rigor mortis lessens, the corpse softens. And that's what made it fall down. Now for the final question. Why did the body explode and burn? Well, that can be explained by using the X-ray mode. It's because of the contraption set up inside the body. The ignition agent combusted from the impact of the body hitting the ground. The fire went up the coiled fuse and onto the substance that triggered a thermite reaction. The substance was eventually ignited, causing a huge explosion. So that interval between the fall and explosion was because of the time it took for the fire to reach the end of the fuse. I get it. It was hard to find traces of that trick because it was such an analog method. All right, I think we're starting to figure things out here. So you can turn off this VR space now. No, not yet. That was just a rehearsal. We still have the main show. What do you mean? We're recreating the culprit's actions. Are you telling me to do that? You're the only actor here, aren't you? Actor? So, I'm Tama, the director and camera operator. Now that I'm in the director's chair, I'm not going to tolerate shoddy acting. So keep that in mind. Are we recording something? Of course we are. We're testing a theory here, so we need to create something that can be viewed objectively. I have no idea what you're going on about. Check your stupid mouth, you third-rate bit part actor! Are you too much of a moron to figure this out without the director having to tell you everything? But... Just zip it and play the culprit. If we're doing this, we're going for the Macademy Award. Macademy? Like, the nuts? Enough! Let's get this started! Ready? Action! Um... Hi! I'm, uh... The culprit who killed Jin. Now, prepare to witness an amazing show featuring this corpse. <sighs> Not only is your acting amateurish, but I don't even understand what kind of character you're trying to play here. I am an amateur. Well, this is just the beginning, so I'll give you a pass for now. Let's start with the positioning of the body. Where and how was it placed? Well... It was right here. The body was placed so it was hung like a bridge between two beams. You can place it like this because it was stiff from rigor mortis. So that's how they did the light trick. Carbon nanotubes, CNT, were tied to the body. The CNT went up the beams and extended downward. Onto the light switch. The NT is too thin to be seen with the naked eye, so no one noticed it. I've got it all set up. Now I just need to wait for the rigor mortis to subside. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in character? Boy! I sure hope the corpse gets softer soon! It needs to be soft and squishy! Like an octopus! This scene makes no sense. I'm cutting it out. You made me do it! And after time passed, rigor mortis began to subside. The body falls, and the impact sets off the ignition agent inside it. The fire travels up the fuse line. Soon after, a staff member turns on the lights. Bam! A body appears! as if it teleported in out of nowhere. Sometime later, the burning fuse inside the body reaches the explosives. And 
that is the truth behind the corpse's sudden appearance and explosion! Cut! Good work. I got some nice footage of the reenactment. I still don't understand why the acting was necessary. It all makes sense now. That corpse didn't teleport here after all. Of course it didn't. Though the culprit obviously wanted it to seem that way. Half of a body just suddenly appearing out of nowhere. Just like the Philadelphia experiment. Someone went through all that trouble to make it look like something strange occurred. I think they also wanted to draw as much attention as possible to that sign. All so they could spread that QR video.